Are you a performer who wishes to do better in their auditions? Do you feel like you go audition after audition and after audition, you're not able to give your best, you're not able to perform your best? Well, I understand your feeling because I've gone through that. And today I'm going to share with you five elements that have helped me during this journey as a performer to be able to give it my all, to share all that I can share with those that are listening to me without having to fight the fear of not being able to perform. You know, we are told to practice our music or our lines for and memorize them and know them really well, but we're never taught how to audition and what's the process mentally that we need to go through. Hi, I'm Dr. Marison, and in this channel, I help you find your voice in a safe and healthy way. The first tip that I have to give you if you're trying to cope with anxiety when you're for auditioning or competitions or if you're going to act in front of a large group of people. On the day of your audition, when you actually are there, build a playlist that you can put into your iPhone or Android phone and listen to that music before the audition. Make sure that this playlist is of songs that really pump you up, make you excited about you have the future, make you excited about performing, make you excited about anything that you're going to be doing so that nothing negative comes into your mind. Do this while the audition is happening, like while other people are before you. Listen to this and get pumped up. One thing that physically that helps me as well to calm, you know, when the, your heart rate goes up right before you're going to enter that room or going to enter the performance or entering the competition is a, a breathing exercise. You know, as singers, we're all about breathing. So one that helps me get the heartbeats down is to breathe in and slowly exhale with, with my lips puckled. That lowers pressure and lowers your heart rate as well. Wherever you are, start running or jumping or doing something, get your heart rate up and then to do this exercise and see how your heart rate goes down. Third element, remember to stay in the present. Don't think about the past, don't think about the future. Think about what you can do now in the present in order to make what you want come to be. If you want your audition to be successful, be in the present. Stop judging yourself. Stop judging the way you believe you should sound. And produce your singing, produce your words with love. And that will deliver. That will capture the attention of those who listen to you. Another important element is to trust yourself. Trust that the work that you've been doing so far, learning your music, learning your lines, learning all of that, you've spent lots of time there. And you know them, you're ready and trust that you are ready to do this audition. Focus on the things you need to do at that moment. Focus on the now, focus on what you can do. And that's making sure that you're calm, making sure that you're in the present, in the moment, and that you're able to perform your best. Don't ever compare yourself to other people because those people that are auditioning or, or the people who are um, judging a competition might not be looking for what that other person is giving to them but what you have to offer so the only way you know that is by giving your best by giving your all and the only way you give your all is by concentrating on what you can do and making sure that you love what you do and share that with the world then the only way to share that with the world is to be unafraid and be free fifth Always remember that this might be the last time you sing. You never know. We know what's going on today, but we don't know what's going tomorrow, what's going to happen tomorrow. The opportunity that you have today, you might not have tomorrow. What is it that you want to say? I hope these tricks for coping with anxiety have been helpful. Please um, subscribe to my channel if you found these tips helpful. I will be sharing with you every week a new tip about singing, about auditioning, about vocal health. So please stay tuned for next week's video. If you want to learn more about how to keep your vocal cords healthy, please check out this video right here. Remember to keep singing and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.